dear brothers and sisters wishes in the mighty name of jesus jesus is our redeemer there is no salvation in any other for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which it is necessary for us to be saved except the apostles chapter 4 verse 12 Christ died for us therefore having been justified now by his blood all the more so shall we be saved from wrath through him Romans chapter 5 verse 9 The God of all graces who has called us to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus will himself perfect confirm and establish us 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 10 You are of God and so you have overcome him for he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world 1 John chapter 4 verse 4 So be humbled under the powerful hand of God so that he may exalt you in the time of visitation 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 6 You are listening to the voice of the gospel the voice of the gospel August 15th Wednesday Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary the solemnity and we celebrate our independence day A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Luke chapter 1 verses 39 to 56 In those days Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting the child leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the holy spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb and why has this happened to me that the mother of my lord comes to me for as soon as i heard the sound of your greeting the child in my womb leaped for joy and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the lord and mary said my soul magnifies the lord and my spirit rejoices in god my savior for he was looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant surely for now on all generation will call me blessed for the mighty one has done great things for me and holy is his name his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation he has shown strength with his arm he has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts he has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly he has filled the hungry with the good things and sent the rich away empty he has helped his servant israel in remembrance of his mercy according to the promise he made to our ancestors to abraham and his descendants forever and mary remained with her about 3 months and then return to her home the gospel of the lord happy feast day my dear friends in jesus christ while indians celebrate the independence day on 15th august roman catholics all over the country celebrates it as the day of the feast of the assumption of the blessed virgin mary or Virgin Mary being taken up into heaven, both body and soul. For Indians, it is double celebration. He is on this day. It is on this day that India got its independence, and we are grateful to God. We believe God is the Lord of history, and it is He who combined these two events. We Christians believe that mother of Jesus was free from sin and that truth is the fruit of sin. 
she was sinless immaculate and therefore rightfully taken into heaven and that feast we celebrate on independence day she is already there where we all must go someday these two historic events remain as of one of the great truth of liberation india's soul has been craving for liberation from falsehood to reality from darkness to light from death to everlasting life all these become feasible and real for every human being with the resurrection of our lord jesus christ who is the way the truth and life and mary the mother of jesus was privileged to be the first human being to enter into the promised glory with jesus christ mary is a crown the queen of heaven and earth a shining star of the true liberation the glorious part of india as the greatest nation in the world politically religiously and economically was obliterated by many years of british occupation however the spirit of the nation was incarnate in the man called mahatma gandhi who restored the pride of mother india through the path of nonviolence and self sacrifice the great man drew inspiration from the gospel every indian creation has reason to be proud of mother mary and mother india Mary's assumption has a salutary impact on our lives. She invites us to work out our own freedom from sin and death. As a servant of the Lord, she up- appeals to us not only to pray the rosary, but also the also to serve and reach out to the those in need. Just as the as she went hastily to lend a helping hand to her cousin. elizabeth at whose house she stayed 3 months joyfully did his her service on this occasion on this species occasion let us pledge to love our country work unitedly for its progress and ensure violence free living like mary who was a woman for others let us practice works of mercy and joyously serve our less fortunate brethren amen happy feast day may god bless you